Hi, today we'll be doing integer addition, okay? And the rule of thumb is that, okay, if you see this table here, there are two, um, two columns. The column on your left, okay, it says that two, if two integers with the same result, uh, with the same sign, this will result in the positive sign, okay? So on your right side here, you can see that if they have the same sign, positive, positive, you get a positive. If you have a negative, negative, you will get a positive as well. So that's the meaning of same sign resulting on the positive sign. On your second row here, it says that if two integers with different signs, this will result in a negative sign or minus sign. So therefore, if you have plus minus, this will result in a negative. If you have a negative plus, this will re result in a negative also. So as long as you see different sign, you get a negative. If you, if you see two same signs, they will result in the positive values. Okay, now we move on to examples here. Okay, example 15. Question A, plus 12 plus, plus 7, okay? So you can see that plus 12 plus, plus 7. So since they are both the same sign, plus, plus, you get a plus here. So 12 plus 7, okay? So therefore, you get the value of 19. Okay, the next question, question B, negative 11 plus minus, okay? So in this case, you get a different sign, plus minus, therefore you get a negative sign, which is negative 19, uh, 39. Okay, so the answer, so the, the question will become negative 11 minus negative, uh, negative 11 minus 39, you get the final answer of negative 15. That means you are owing someone 11 ringgit, and then the following morning, you owe another person 39 ringgit. So therefore, you are owing negative 50 ringgit. Okay, the next question, negative 31 plus plus. Okay, so if you see the same sign, that will become a positive 46. Okay, so in this case, you have 46 minus 31, you get 50. Okay, the next one is negative 59 plus plus 48. You get positive 48 because they are of the same sign here. So the next one will be negative 11 is the answer because negative 59 plus 48 equals to negative 11. Okay. That's the examples. Now we move on to some exercises, okay? So here you have positive three plus minus eight. So plus minus eight, that will mean that they are different sign. Different sign will give rise to a negative value eight. Okay, so the answer will be 3 minus 8, therefore you get negative 5. In the next question, plus 3 plus plus 8, so therefore it becomes 3 plus, the answer is 8. Okay, so the answer is 8. So therefore 3 plus 8 equals to 11. Next, we move on to negative 10 plus plus. Since it is plus plus, you get a positive sign, plus 6. Therefore, your answer will be negative 10 plus 6 equals negative 4. That's the answer. The okay, next question, 0 plus minus. Okay, so therefore you have a different sign here. Plus minus is minus seven. 
So therefore, the final answer will be negative seven. Okay, the next question, negative 12 plus plus is plus eight, since they have the same sign here. And therefore, the final answer will be negative four. Okay, negative 12 plus eight equals negative four. Okay, next we move on to a bigger number here. Sixty-seven plus minus. Okay, what should be the sign here? The answer is negative, since both of them have the neg different signs. Only three. So the answer is minus six. Okay, this is actually quite straightforward. The next question, thirty-three plus 48, because both of them have the same sign, plus plus. So the answer will be 81. Okay, now we move on to the last question here. Negative 105. What should be the sign here? Since it is plus minus, which is different sign, Therefore, we should use negative, okay? So both this number are negative, negative 105. That means you are owing someone 105 ringgit plus owing another person 76 ringgit. So in total, you are owing 181. Okay, so with that, I've ended my explanation. Please do the question. Thank you.